Hey, my name is Steve and welcome back to Command Shift New and our Logic Pro quick tips in three minutes or less. Today we're taking a look at how to set up the metronome to your liking to help you in your recording sessions. You can easily turn the simple metronome on and off at the top right of the toolbar or with the keyboard shortcut K, using it to help you with recording for example. However, when you right click, you can find further options. You can set it to a click while playing back or only while recording. And you can even set it to play just for the count in. To turn on the count in, you can click the one, two, three, four button on the left of the metronome or use the keyboard shortcut Shift K. And right clicking on this button will allow you to change the number of bars or notes that will be counted in before the recording starts. This is a great option to provide you a lead in before the recording without recording the silence before the playhead that you may end up trimming later. However, what if you want to change the sound, the output, or the divisions of the metronome? There are a few ways to do this. You can find advanced settings when you right click the metronome button and click metronome settings. In here, you'll find the tone and volume controls, as well as the ability to change the pitch of the beats, the bars, and the divisions. You can even turn on the divisions to hear the clicks between the beats which you can control by selecting the divisions on the custom LCD display. You can also gain even more control in the mixer window by displaying all tracks to show the click track. From here, you can control the volume and pan, but you can also see the instrument plugin that is actually providing the sound. In here, you can change fine settings, like the tuning or tonality, but you can also recall presets for different sounds. If you like a different sound, you can even save that sound as the default. And then every time you open up a new session, Logic will recall the sound instead of the original default. If you've enjoyed this quick tip and would like to hear more, why not like the video and subscribe for the next one? You never know what new trick you might pick up. Happy music making, and I will see you in the next one.